And we are talking about uh, some weather around the world. Uh, we're going to take you to a flight. This was a couple of days ago. This was a Singapore airline flight that experienced some severe turbulence. It was a Boeing 777 and on that flight there was one fatality and over 30 people injured. The airplane apparently dropped 6,000 feet in about three minutes of time. The uh, airplane had to divert and head back to uh, Bangkok. Uh, turbulence can happen at any phase of flight. That's why you often hear keep the seat belt on. That's for good reason. Uh, as, as aircraft pilots, we never take the seat belt off. You should always keep that seat belt on. I want to show you something. This is a, a, a map here. It looks a little bit unusual, but this is one of the uh, turbulence forecast maps that we use uh, when planning flights. This actually will show you the turbulence at different layers of the atmosphere. So where the uh, airplanes fly uh, upwards of 30, 40,000 feet, you can see where we are looking at some severe turbulence reports right here across the Midwest, exactly where uh, some of that rough weather is today. There are many types of turbulence and you have uh, turbulence associated with thunderstorm activity. This can usually be avoided by flying around the storms. You also have turbulence caused by mountain waves. How many times have you flown uh, from coast to coast and you fly over the Rockies and it starts getting pretty bumpy. That is because of the turbulence created by those mountain waves. And then you have uh, turbulence that is formed from crossing near a frontal boundary. Uh, this is called uh, a frontal turbulence, often caused by a cold front. Most of the time, turbulence can be forecast, but there are times we have something called clear air turbulence, and that often happens in the upper 30s to lower 40s in terms of the altitude. And that clear air turbulence, that's the ones that sometimes catch us by surprise, some of the most severe turbulence I've ever experienced happened when there was not a cloud in the sky. So again, the, the rule here, keep that seat belt on at all times unless you know you're making that brief trip to the uh, to the restroom or something like that. So just want to keep you updated on what goes on kind of behind the scenes when we are forecasting that turbulence and what pilots look like uh, look at. This all comes from the Aviation Forecast Center out in Kansas City.